Paris has made its latest move in the political gambit over the Syrian crisis. French President Francois Hollande has called on Syria's opposition to form a provisional government, saying France won't hesitate to recognize it. Our correspondent Tessa Arcelia reports on what this means for the conflict. The French President Francois Hollande had issued a statement with several points when it comes to uh, Syria. Uh, first of all, he had urged the different rebel groups and opposition members to come together to form a uh, representative provisional government. Now, he said that if and when they do this, France is ready to recognize uh, this group. Now, uh, we know that on the ground there are still divisions and different factions of rebel groups. Uh, however, on the outside, we also know that there are several members of different opposition groups, such as the Syrian National Council, the Muslim Brotherhood, among others, who've already been meeting for a few months now and drawing a roadmap for a post-Assad Syria. And they are set to uh, release their plans and their findings in the coming week. And again, uh, Francois Hollande reiterating their future support for a government formed by the rebel groups. Now, aside from that, uh, Hollande had also said that any use of chemical weapons by the Assad regime would justify a direct foreign intervention. Now, this echoes what uh, U.S. President Barack Obama had said just a week ago. And also, uh, Hollande says he's looking at uh, creating buffer zones uh, within Syria. Now, this is to follow on the uh, idea that Turkey had pushed forward uh, to uh, manage the uh, increasing number of refugees flowing into neighboring countries. We've already seen some conflict in the neighboring Lebanon. Uh, however, any humanitarian buffer zone that they're calling it would involve some sort of military uh, operation or military involvement, which they say is in order to safeguard the safety of civilians. However, listening to all this rhetoric, especially coming from uh, Francois Hollande, this does uh, echo and is reminiscent of what his predecessor, and Nicolas Sarkozy had said just a year ago with regard to Syria, also before that with regard to Libya. We see from the rhetoric and from the moves, the actions of uh, the Western leaders as well as their allies, that it is clear that they do want to get involved in the Syrian crisis one way or another, in one capacity or another, be that a military involvement as well. Washington has been hesitant in supporting the French president's call over the formation of an interim government. A number of officials in the Obama administration have said the Syrian opposition isn't ready for such a move. Brian Becker from the anti-war answer coalition believes it's unacceptable and dangerous to grant power to those currently representing the opposition. It's very odd and ironic, in fact, completely hypocritical to have the French a government saying to the Syrian opposition, you form a government and we'll recognize you. I mean, that's just a script from the good old days when the colonial powers operated through proxies. There was an opposition, a big opposition to the Assad government in Syria that was against violence, against civil war, and particularly against foreign intervention. They've been pushed to the side. And in their place is the free Syrian army, so-called, the so-called Syrian revolutionaries, who are nothing really at this point other than the chosen proxies of the foreign powers. So it will be they, those who control the monopoly of violence, that is the NATO powers themselves, who will be the ultimate uh, determiner of what the character is of this new so-called opposition government or what they will declare to be the legitimate government of the Syrian people.